Hello, hello. All right. Stream is up and alive. That is actually good. All right, let's let's go ahead and set up here. Um show exactly what's happening. How's my how's my mic? It's uh Let's check my mic volume real quick. Do 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 do. Yeah, it's good. Good enough. It's organized for a few people. See um what's going on. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, let's see. Uh, needle drop, uh, searing blaze, face hard. Uh, yeah, that's good. This. This. These. Those. Yeah, that'll work. A little bit better. All right, I I have officially one viewer, and I think that might be myself. Uh, but I think otherwise, I'm ready to stream. All right, I'm just gonna be playing uh, Mono Red Burn today. Oh, okay, stream's good. Stream's still good. Uh, just gonna be playing Mono Red Burn. I'm gonna be getting into a quick league uh, before work, just trying to get something out. Um. If you haven't seen Mono Red Burn in Popper before, uh, <laughs> it's like Mono Red Burn in every other format. Uh, you play as many bolts as you can, as close to a bolt as you can. Um, we have the four lightning bolts, four chain lightning, four rift, uh, four lava spike, and three scare the critics. Um, then we have some needle drops to cantrip and uh, to you know uh, deal that one little extra damage. So it helps thin our deck and makes it easier to uh, get our next land drop, get our next big spell, you know, keep getting more gas. Uh, the Searing Blaze is good for removal and interacting with our opponent just a little bit uh, while also still getting in that crucial burn damage. Uh, the Fire Blast is a great end finisher. Um, the permanents that we got are, you know, Popper, go uh, <laughs> Poplar, Popper uh, Goblin Guide. Uh, we have our nice uh, Thermal Alchemist to ping. And we have Curse of the Pierced Heart is a sweet enchantment, really good against the control matchups and a lot of matchups where the games go really late. Because over time, this thing becomes, oh, uh, two mana, deal, four, five billion. Uh, just however long the game is going to go, this will keep the, uh, the pain flowing. Then for the sideboard, we got Electricery, uh, Martyr of Ashes to act as board wipes, depending on what our opponent is doing. Uh, we also have Calden Marauders for... Um, actually, I'm not 100% certain what Calden Marauders is for. I'm guessing that it's two mana to technically deal five damage to your opponent on an empty board. Or you can switch and start pinging uh, creatures. Um, I wouldn't imagine that this is the worst thing to bring in against Kodaltha Boros or Boros Bully. You know, pick off Hawk, swing into their creatures, knowing that yours is just a little bit bigger. Uh, then we got Smash the Smithereens, which is great against Affinity. Affinity can be kind of a close match for us, so Smash the Smithereens. You know, a Bolt plus Destroy the Mirror Enforcer or Destroy a Land can be really impactful. Uh, Molten Rain is there to destroy some lands for Tron. Um, the Firebrand Archers are there for the uh, burn. No, uh, not for the burn. Um, there for uh, Tron matchups. I'm guessing <laughs> against other burn decks, we might want to bring these in. Um, just because they make each of our bolts more potent. And this wouldn't be half bad idea to bring in more creatures. Um, because this is 
more uh, frequent damage. It, it does improve all of our spells and does add more synergy. I can't imagine it being the worst idea. All, along with uh, maybe Mortar Martyr of Ashes. Because um, bringing this in against our opponent's creatures might actually be a good idea to just Wrath their board. Have a little uh, tiny Wrath spell to get rid of theirs. Then play out our creatures and start actually doing stuff. Okay, yeah, the, that bet red's still good. <laughs> yeah, it's still good. All right, now let's go ahead and get into a league. Oh, hey, we're in a fresh, um, what's it called? Uh, they just started restarted the season, so all of these trophies are uh, are brand new, and we got 150 active players. Oh, that's good. I'm glad that we have more. Uh, I, I'm glad that we have active players in the community constantly. Let's go ahead and try to earn a trophy with Model Red Burn. I'm a little a little doubtful because I just looked on MTG Goldfish and saw that it had fallen in favor. Uh, I'm guessing that there's a few matchups that we might not like to be in. But I'd imagine that if we're playing carefully, we can probably sneak in uh, a win and get that trophy. It feels like this deck maybe sometimes is, um, isn't winning by the greatest margin. A lot of times, if we win on turn four, we drew well, but there's other games where, oh, we draw our opening hand at seven cards. It's great hand, but we only got the one land. So it's arguable that, hey, maybe we should, uh, maybe we should mulligan this, and then we don't, we don't, because we're like hoping to draw into another one with needle drop or something. Or, oh, hey. <laughs> um, ah, lands, you say? God. This is so many lands. Um, I'm going to keep this. Let me say hi. I'm going to keep. I, I think I mulligan a little bit too hastily sometimes. Oh, don't go fairy. Don't go. Okay, good. Preordain. That's fine. You preordain all you want, blue control deck. We'll just be here um, with Gintu Lava Runners. Okay, Needle Grop. That's good. All right, Gintu Lava Runner, past turn. Um, I'm thinking I might attack next turn and then Needle Drop uh, just to get a spell in the graveyard and hope to draw another spell. I might want a Thermo Alchemist. Because if I, if I flood the board with a bunch of cards that my opponent can't handle yet, that might be better. Because uh, I think permanents in burn are the way to win a lot of your matchups. Oh, is that a snap, you say? Okay. Hugger of Bolas. Oh... Oh, come on now. You have to have good blocker uh, in game one. Okay, that's our fifth line drop. That's not good. That is not good. I'm going to Thermal Alchemist here. Because they are tapped out. They don't have Counterspell. I doubt that they have Foil. Alright, great. And then... When we get to untap next turn, we get to play land. We get to play the needle drop after pinging with this. Untap, get another ping. So three damage. Finally, I know. <laughs> turn three damage in burn. That's not great. Doesn't inspire confidence. But I, I have a good feeling that we get our, our sweet pyroblast. And maybe we draw bolts or something, and that would be nice. As long as it's not land number six, I think we'll be fine. All right, ponder. Go ahead. 
find your no lands. Okay, they have found land. Snap. Okay. <laughs> yep, tempo being tempo. Augur Bolas gets in for one. Is it? Yeah. A second Thermo Alchemist. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so they know about these two. Um, they don't know about these two. Uh, I'm wondering if if we should play out actual Thermo Alchemist or Gintu Lava Runner. I'm thinking we might want to, you know, try to play around the counter spells by running out Gintu Lava Runner first. Because Thermo Alchemist is a stronger card. Okay. They just kind of let that one go. Um, because they know that we have another Thermo Alchemist. Uh, we can play Gint Gintu Lava Runner. Okay, they let that go. All right, and that's it. It's so easy for them to represent Counterspell all the time. Uh, if they had Spellsitter Sprite, they probably would have taken the other Lava Runner, but they don't. And they're conserving, they're being conservative with their Counterspell, trying to protect, um, what is it? They're trying to, they're trying to protect themselves from Thermo Alchemist. Another land. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to tell them that I'm, that I'm flooding. I think that might be obvious. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, we could run Chain Lightning into them. Uh, needle Drop into them. Get these two huge. And then play Thermal Alchemist. I would love to run out double Thermal Alchemist. I would really like to. Um, and I would like to untap and try this again. They only have four cards in hand. Okay, I'm... To avoid Spellsitter Sprite, I'm going to attack first. I'm going to attack first. I'm going to give up some of the damage. All right, there you go. They block. Cool. I'm going to go and now play one Thermal Alchemist, which they'll counter spell. Okay. Second Thermal Alchemist. Sticks. Okay, that's good. That's really good. All right, now we have... Now we're cooking. We're cooking. Next turn, we get... Okay, less damage than I wanted. We might have to shoot that. Um, I think we have to shoot that thing. Um, and we do get three damage. Oh, we get more damage. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I'll shoot that just so I can get in with these guys. Oh, uh, always let that resolve. <laughs> They're wishing that they were in Scred so they could shoot us back. Okay, cool. Spell in the yard. They're going to counterspell that one. Which is fine. While it's on the stack, just for fun, I want to show them. <laughs> yes. That's right. Let it all go. Searing Blaze. Okay, that's great. Oh my god. And then...
Oh my God. That's awesome. That is 100% perfect. Um, okay. Let that resolve and then go to combat. Down to eight <laughs> and down to a virtual seven. That was amazing. Oh God. I'm so glad that, uh, I decided to copy, um, the other copy, the, uh, pro players, um, that I had, I had been watching. They would say that they, uh, they wouldn't actually play test with a deck before going to the tournament. They would just like take the deck and just, okay. Yeah. Um, I'll allow that to go period. Yeah, sure. Uh, they would say that they would just like borrow a deck from a friend the day before. Ninja of Deep Hours. Okay. That's a desperation blocker if I've ever seen one. One damage. All right. If we draw gas here, this will be great. And it is. One damage. Now I can remove this, save one of my guys. Um, or I can just untap, I can, uh, actually they're all, they're, 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 ta they're tapped out. They're tapped out. Um, so instead I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to cancel just in case on the off chance that they have foil. Um, I know it's silly to try to play around it, but you know, <laughs> there's always that tiny, tiny chance. Okay, that kills him. Begin sideboarding. You know, you never know what's in somebody's deck, and there's just like, uh, what, what if they're playing that one little card or testing that one card here or there? You know, um, ooh, Firebrand Archers do seem a little bit faster. Um, I, I don't think that they're going to be bringing in Grape Shot, so this is safe from Grape Shot and a little bit faster than Thermal Alchemist because it can attack and it does get us the pings, which is what we want. But it doesn't get through their blockers super easily. Uh, I think that I'm willing to take the one smash to Smithereens for the Spire Golems. Um, Keldon Rotters look actually not half bad also. Um, I'm willing to move these Curse of the Pierce Hearts for two Keldon Marauders. Um, I don't think I care that much for Martyr of Ashes. I don't think it's that kind of matchup. Um, I'm probably going to... I'm willing to cut the one... Actually, I'm willing to cut these other two uh, Curse of the Pierce Hearts for Firebrand Archers. Yeah, that seems a lot better because this is a this is a, a match where we're uh, running for time here. We're going for like time. This is a tempo deck versus a burn deck. We're both trying to minimize uh, our our opponent's amount of time that they have to win. Ooh, this is not great at all. but I'm willing to keep it. They're going down to six. I'll keep, I'll keep. I guess it's fine. It's, um, it's not something that I love, but I am hasty with uh, my mulligans, I think. So I'm gonna try to play it out more conservatively this time, you know, keep my cards, keep as many of them as I can. Cause I think I've ruined some of my games before in the past by just mulliganing too fast. Or misclicking a card and just putting my only other land to the bottom in Tron. Ooh, um, excuse us. We'd uh, we'd like a little damage, and then pass the turn. Then they untap. Okay, they get a land. That's tapped. That's fine. Um, I'm willing to lava spike, then needle drop. 
Spell Pierce. What? All right. No. That's not a bad card. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't want to use the other Chain Lightning yet. I want to save the Chain Lightning for the uh, Needle Drops. That's that's the real important thing here. Come on. Um, what does my... Is my stream session say... Uh, oh, God. I need to change the stream title. Oh, God. Um, edit stream info. Um... Playing out a burn deck. Sure, that's that's good enough. Um, yeah, Augur Bolas, sure. Okay. Alright. They find card. Scare the critics. Okay, that's also good. Um we will mountain get rid of that no ninjas here not yet ah good 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 um i'd like to do that oh that's great okay we get two more draws we have 10 damage in hand okay another auger bolus that's fine completely fine that's not a fast card <clears throat> it's just <laughs> we're a little bit faster than the tempo deck tragic lesson okay i don't think that's very fast either <laughs> and a rift bolt i think i want to suspend the rift bolt i'm willing to chain lightning you Needle drop you. Cool, and the next turn we have them literally dead. Oh, this is going great. This is like the best thing that happens in burn. <laughs> I mean, who knew? Burn keeping tempo in check in popper, maybe? Yeah, I think so. I think that's true. Oh, come on. You don't want a ninja? But you could ninja. I yield to the uh, suspend trigger. Cool. Oh, they're going to spell Sutter Sprite? Oh, no. They're going to counter spell. Okay. All right. Um... I'm going to Firebrand Archer. Which they can't stop. Which allows me to bolt. Always yield. And that makes both of these do way more damage. Okay, good, good. They go down to one this turn. They're literally dead to anything. They're literally dead to anything. They need to have a blocker. They need to stop the trigger from a spell being cast. Counter spell doesn't do it. They literally need to have both a bounce spell and uh, and a counter spell. Sweet. <laughs> they're not just within bolt range. They're with it. Okay, they got the snap. Okay, that's not gonna stop me next time. I still have the mana to sequence it out. Okay, they're just going to hit me one with Augur Bolas. Oh, God. If I have Keldon Marauders. Firebrand Archer. Come on, Counterspell. You know you want to. Is it? Counterspell. Okay. Surprise? Surprise? 
off the top. <laughs> Gelden Rodders comes in at the perfect time. Oh, God, I think they might have been playing uh, Mono Blue Control, actually. Because looking at Augur, and I'm beginning to think that they don't have Spellstutter Sprite. Ah, winning. Winning is my favorite thing. <laughs> Taking it down. Uh, I'm just going to quickly adjust this uh, this stream real quick. Uh, just to make sure it's accurate and it doesn't say I'm playing Tron. Okay. Um, a... Uh, Grinding through a league before work. Grab a drink, tune in, play along at home. Uh, yeah. Playing out a burn deck. Tune into. Oh. Tune in uh, to check out the league. Yeah. That works oh um i should enable this stream decker thing another time uh i'll have to do that oh um i'm just gonna take a quick break real quick um take some medicine and let the one viewer get a drink All right, I'm back and uh, just uh, went to go freshen up my coffee, take my meds, and we'll begin a, another match. And oh no, this league ends in eleven weeks. I wonder if we have, I wonder if we have time. Appa's seventy-two. I wonder if I know that person. Oh no. Okay, it's a different oppa. I would like to play a game against them. <laughs> Just so that way I can be like, so where's Aang? <laughs> also, oh, hold on. Scooch. Don't want any clattering, clanging. 
Also, um, starting to cook again, like cook up a storm. I have this thing where I'm trying to like make the best recipes just for myself based on my preferences. And so far, uh, I found a nice pancake recipe that I like, a couple brownie recipes that I like, and I found the best one that I like for chewy fudgy brownies. And right now I got a new pan. It's all it's all set in my kitchen to start brewing up another storm. I'm wondering like the nuts that I should use in it because I feel like a break between chunks of brownie is like a good break is like having a couple nuts in there or like a few pieces of like maybe a dried fruit or something. I don't know, like banana chips maybe or something with a little with a little bit of uh oomph in it that doesn't have like tons of flavor because brownie is very strong flavor, you know, being chocolate. If you space it out, like the nuts kind of like add something to it too. Like it adds a crunch and it adds like a little bit of like a fatty flavor from like the nuts, which I do like. Also, I have some weird bit rates going on, but hey, good enough, good, good enough. New creator updates. Um, I'm just checking out some of the updates, make sure that I don't miss any notifications or anything weird. Anyway, they're kind of cool. Um, well, I think Twitch is a better platform than YouTube. Like, 100%. It just seems easier to find streamers. Like, you don't have to be pre-subscribed to the streamer to know that they are streaming. You can just look for the thing. Which is sweet. Uh, also, I should probably say hey to the Discord. Notifications are going off. Huh? Question mark? Oh, well, um, that happened several hours ago, thing like 12 hours ago. Uh, finger cross is not a problem now. Um, don't know why I'd have stream uh, notifications going off. Would I like to roll? Um, I would like to play first. Ooh, um, hmm. <laughs> Two one drops. And then this requires more lands, this requires more lands, this requires more lands, this requires more lands. Uh, I think that this is a good time to mulligan. Like, I feel that I don't have any terribly great permanents, and I feel like these two cards are not quite going to do it. I... I'm gonna mulligan. I don't, if they were bolts, I would actually. Okay, yeah, no, this is better. This is much better. Um, I can't cast this yet, but I can. Rift bolt, lava spike. Uh, you know, do all that great stuff. I think turn one, I'm gonna forgotten cave. Turn one. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. I think I might chuck fire blast to the bottom. It's just going to take so long to actually make it work. Let's get the critics as a card, but uh, Fire Blast. Um, I would like Rift Bolt. Uh, I would like to keep Rift Bolt. It's the closest thing to a Lightning Bolt that I actually have. And I think I might need it just in case. Like to have an unconditional, hey, here's a card that that literally can kill something that you have. I know it's a little slower. I should sequence it out first, you know, just in case I get, um, what's it called? Uh, Gintu Lava Runner or something, but it's, it's more important that I think I have interaction. Oh, is that burned? It is not. And I think this is a good time for Bolt. Um, 
We'll play. I'm going to suspend this. Uh, and I'm going to pass the turn. I think I literally need to shoot that down. Because unfortunately, uh, that's actually going to deal me a lot of damage. Like, I think this will deal me more damage in the long in the long run, in the short term, then uh, I, I just think it's too high priority a, tig a target. Oh, they only have one land. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> All right, time to time to draw a thermal alchemist here. That would be great. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't think that I'm actually going to shoot either one of these. Um, you know what? I I think I might have to actually shoot one of these. No, I'll I'll shoot them. I'll just go ahead and shoot them. <laughs> have not made a land drop yet. Uh, Curse of the Pierced Heart. Clip to you. Pass the turn. That's one damage. Um, I might live four or five turns, so it's actually pretty good. That does put them down to nine. Oh, Mog Cohort. Okay. They get me down to 12. Because I'm not dead, they're at a virtual 12-2. Um, needle drop cycles, thankfully, and that gives me another chance to find land for Searing Blaze. Also, it makes uh, Skew the Critics better. Okay. Okay, we got card. <laughs> we do We do have officially a card. I will play Searing Blaze, get that off the table. Get that and that. Use Needle Drop. Find Bolt. Okay. I'm not dead yet. Uh, always yield. I have them down to one life. If they have Goblin Grenade, they might win. That is that is the downside. I don't think they have anything to follow up. They didn't have Burning Tree Emissary. Okay, that's pretty worrisome. That's not good. Okay. Um, I can. I, I'm dead next turn. Um, this puts them down to seven. This puts them down to four. This puts them down to one. I think I might have to actually bolt one of these to not die. Mm hmm. Like, I can Searing Blaze now. Hold up, Scare the Critics. Pray I don't die. No, I mean, I I'll just pass the turn. See how this plays out. I'm going to have to kill one of those. If they have Goblin Grenade, they have it. Or Bolt, they have it. And I die. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Um, just didn't get a great start. But I think we might be okay. Let's um let's go ahead and find out. Actually wait, cancel. Hey, wait a minute. This didn't this uh do damage to them just now? Uh okay. That was weird. I'll just go ahead um 
shoot this one. Because this one can't attack. So it's just, it's just two. It's just two. Still dead to Goblin Grenade, but... Draw well. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's it. All right. Concede. Ah, they had it. Had it, they had it, they had it, they had it. Um, Marta of Ashes looks good. Uh, Firebrand Archer is a blocker. Um, Kelder Marauder is also a blocker. Um, I don't think Curse of the Pierced Heart is going to do quite as much as a Kelder Marauder can. Both holding back their attackers and pinging their small bodies or pinging the opponent. While Martyr of Ashes might be a little bit more favorable than, I don't know, maybe one of the other... Uh, maybe maybe better than the Pierced Heart. Uh, I think I might also want to get rid of um, one Skier the Critics just for a Martyr of Ashes. Because Wrathing their board does seem really, really, really good. Uh, run it back. Alright, let's try this. Ooh, this is... This is nerve wracking. Oh yeah, my God, my my manners. Hi. I wonder what on earth they're gonna be bringing in. Red deck wins doesn't have any uh any sideboard cards that are good. I mean, as long as we draw. Um some of our good spells like i'm really hoping for this martyr of ashes to come through for us and just show up in our opening hand we have exactly two lands in hand and we can just be like ba -ba! martyr of ashes blow up the world stop your shenanigan get rid of three of your cards ba -ba! like get them but we might not Whoop, they're they're struggling. They're probably they're probably thinking, why didn't I I pack any life gain in my in my red deck wins? That's okay. That's okay. They don't they don't need to. Um Actually, you know, I made a mistake. I should have cut these Gintu Lava Runners for Firebrand Archers. Cause I don't think I'm gonna have a lot of situations where I can attack in favorably. And that is unfortunate. Yes, I'd like to play first. Mm-hmm. Oh, this seems a little rough. Uh, I'll keep it. <clears throat> I'll play land. I'll play... Murder of Ashes. Pass the turn. Hopefully, this is enough to deter them from actually playing cards for a second. Or at least piecing them out uh, one at a time, which does gives a, give us... Oh, okay, okay, that's good. That is good. Um, we'll get them for some combat, actually. Are they going to bolt? Aww. Why would you do that? <laughs> all right. All right. Fine. Um, We'll get into Lava Runner. Get into Lava Runner. And then next turn, Chain Lightning, Needle Drop. We do have 8 damage in hand, plus... 
this on board. That's uh, only 12. That's not good. Um, hopefully, we might be able to get in for some attacks. Don't burning tree. <laughs> don't, 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 don't burning tree. All uh, right, fine. It's burning tree. Burning tree into. Uh, mud brawler cohort. Okay. Yeah, these Gintu lava runners are are hurting me. Uh, I'm gonna have to let that go. No thanks. I will. I think bolt here. Uh. And then. Oh god, that doesn't do anything. Um, that doesn't do exactly what I wanted to. Anyway. Okay, good. It did kill it. <laughs> good. That's uh, that's what I wanted. Um, we'll go for combat. Attack with all the creatures. Needle drop. Scare the critics. Sure. And now we officially are asking for more creatures from them. And our creatures are going to outrace theirs. We are mom momentarily winning the race. Fingers crossed a little bit longer. Street Foundry Denizen. Okay. Small constructs. Ah, okay. I would love exactly bolt. Please. Oh, I really hope I don't. Okay. Um, we can scare the critics. The mog conscript. Attack for a good chunk, and then. We might just want to attack like this. See what they uh, are willing to give up. Because if they're willing to give up um, Street, Foundry, Street Foundry Denizen. Yeah, no, I'll I'll go ahead and just straight up uh, scare the critics. This um, small conscript. And then get it for some attacks. Okay, they're cool with it. That is good. We have dealt a bit of damage with these things. That's that is good. We're uh, okay. They can uh, they can attack us back for four. We go down to twelve. We just need them to get down to four, and then pirate then fire blast deals them the final blow. Bushwhacker, God. Oh God. That is nine plus. Oh my god. Okay, I think that that might have been the game winning thing there. Ouch. Forgotten Cave. <laughs> That's good. Uh, not great. Five, nine. You attack us back with two. Um, things are not looking good. If they have bolt or goblin grenade or anything, we kind of die. Um, we may want to uh, fire blast, needle drop, and cycle forgotten cave. Because I think we might still be able to do it. Because they're at 9. They'll, they're at a virtual 9. Uh, virtual 5. 4. At a virtual 4. We might be able to keep... We might be able to take the win. If they don't have Goblin Grenade. Um, yeah, this does 
put them down to uh and it does leave us up with one mana after we cycle forgotten cave and one land uh i don't think i don't think we should do that that seems kind of bad i think we just they're only at one card um i think we'll just have to pass the turn uh we're just not there yet What is this? Oh, okay. That's that's a card that does do it, doesn't it? Uh, let's see. Block, block. Uh, still dead. Um, unless, of course, we fire blast something. I'll cycle this. Not quite it. Okay, then. Yeah, no, oh, okay, that does, that does do it. Uh, no, wait, we still live by one. We still live by one. We have a stop at the beginning of their upkeep. We can fire blast that. Rune combat. Oh, God, I can't believe we're losing to red deck wins. Burn is supposed to be the red deck wins. Oh. Well, kill that one. And that one. Yeah. We do have another mountain, so that's all right. Okay. <sighs> this is still not enough. Okay. Um we we just have to concede. Um that was that was that. That was that. It was just um not in our favor, unfortunately. Um I think I should have uh, mulligan a little bit more uh, aggressively at that moment. Uh, probably should have prioritized finding the uh, actual... I probably should have also uh, cyborged out the Gintu Lava Runners. Yeah, okay. That's, that's a learning moment. Next time, cyborg out the Gintu Lava Runners. And... Checking Discord. If you haven't been on my Discord. Oh, okay. I see. Um, they were just somewhere. Uh, they were just somewhere in like a different... Um, in like a different chunk of the world. That's why it was 4 a.m. Got it. They choose to play first. This is a good opening hand. We have cards. Uh, I'll keep this. Tron, A. Eh? I think the appropriate thing to do here is Lava Spike, and then uh, next turn, get into Lava Runner into Chain Lightning. And I like how we even have uh, Curse of the Pierced Heart for this, because this is a way to get through the, the annoying little locks that they have, where they uh, Stonehorn Dignitary you, and soft lock you out of the guy the game by taking away combat. Okay, they are tapped out, so we'll just go ahead and we will chain lightning you. 
while you don't have two red mana, along with everything else. Attack with all. Okay, super. Next turn, we have the option to either Curse of the Pierced Heart. Okay, and they're going to... They're playing Impulse. Okay, that's even... That's fine. They're probably looking just for Land Drop. Okay, they made Land Drop. Alright, Rift Bolts. Um, we can Curse of the Pierced Heart now. And then... Mm, yeah, I'm just going to get in for... A quick attack. Go to our main phase. Um, we could skewer the critics now. Uh, Rift bolts. I think what I'm looking to do here is I'm looking to uh, probably play out Curse of the Pierced Heart. Chant them. Like, make sure that there is always some kind of clock on them, that they have multiple things to deal with, that they can't reach into a toolbox of options and they just straight up can't I don't want them to ever think that there's a way out because this is something they don't have an answer for uh, except for Den Denrova Horror okay there's that that's annoying ooh is that Weather the storm. Oh, God. 21. Hey. That's good. That's that's good. Well, let's get in for our, our attack real quick. Go to our main phase. Uh, play Thermal Alchemist. Pass the turn. Um, eventually, these will grind them out. Even if they develop card advantage. Okay. Uh, forbidden alchemy. Sure. Yeesh, we have to wait for them to actually um, play a creature, huh? Don't we need two relevant targets for Searing Blaze? Dinrova Horror. There it is. Okay. What are you, um... Oh, you get rid of Thermal Alchemist, eh? Okay. Discard a card. Well, none of this is great. I understand the frustration with Tron. Um, we could scare the critics, um, get rid of scare the critics. It's a direct bolt to their face. I might want to. Uh, you know, we, we absolutely need to remove that thing. Uh, I think we might need to attack with Gintu Lava Runner. Hope that they block it, then shoot it with scare the critics or. Uh, shoot it with something else. Um, none of these are great options. I'll, I'll probably chuck away the fire blast. I don't think that we are going to use that yet. What I'm really just looking for is, uh, land off the top or bolt or needle drop. Land off the top. Okay, that's good. God, I wish I could read Spectacle here. Um, we'll attack. Okay, they see that. They, <laughs> they're actually blocking. And then, t 
take care of it. All right, that's one card down. Uh, they need to find Pulsar Marasa now. All right. Rift Bolt or um. Actually, we'll just pass it like this. Um, I think I'll, I want to just play Thermal Alchemist first. Oh, they got Remote Isle. Okay. Oh, and we'll always allow this to, re to resolve. Okay. Yeah. That is just one ping. It's not a May. All right. Uh... Mall Drifter, sure. Okay. You know, the future was shining bright, and then this happened. Okay, they don't have Demonic Wall to get that back yet. Uh, Weather the Storm back, sure. Play Thermal Alchemist. And two Counterspell. Prohibit, sure. Remote aisle cycle. Um, okay, they're running out of. They're running low on cards. That's 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 at least good. They can get more. Oh God, they found more. Dear God. Okay, do your stupid thing. Is this Ghostly Flicker? Why can't, oh yeah, Sorcery. God, um, yeah, sure. Get all the cards, of course. No, no, you enjoy that. You enjoy your time. Mnemonic Wall, do you get back Weather the Storm? You get back Weather the Storm, okay. I'm surprised he didn't get back Ghostly Flicker. Oh, okay. That is... That is just... Uh, okay. Okay. So. <laughs> so. We need, like... Uh, we need like seven more cards to get through that 28 life. Dear God. Um, seven more turns of getting potentially beaten down by Malt Drifters. Um, I don't think that we quite have that. All the while, they're going to dig for more stuff. I'm just going to, I'm just going to pick it up. See the game. Begin sideboarding. That's unfortunate. Um, Molten Rain. Because, yes. Um, Kelden Rotters is probably no. Uh, Smash the Smithereens. I would like two. Just because there's Bonner's Ornament and there's Prophetic Prisms and there's moments on occasion where they are tapped out and there is a Expedition map on the table that we can shoot. Uh, I also kind of like these Firebrand Archers. Because that extra ping when they have that, that big creature on board is actually probably decent. And it empowers all of our bolts, you know, adds potency. All right. Um, could probably cut Skew the Critics. Another Skew the Critics. Um, probably a Searing... Probably uh, actually a couple Searing Blazes, thinking about it, because these Searing Blazes, it's really hard to set those up into anything that will kill anything. It doesn't uh, feel like it does very much. Yeah, we'll leave this like this. 
and hopefully that's right. I don't think that they're going to be playing a whole lot of small creatures that Searing Blaze is going to have great interaction with. Everything has like four toughness or as a Mull Drifter. Which we barely care about the body of a Mole Drifter. I wonder if uh, Pyroblast is, is correct in the sideboard here. Like whether we should even bother interacting with blue. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Okay, they're having a time sideboarding. I am going to check Discord and... Okay, yeah, I've got messages back and they've gotten into the game and I have forgotten to say hi. Uh, I will play first. Chain Lightnings. Um, I don't think this is great. I'm going to mulligan this. I think this is better. Technically, this is better. Keep. Uh, I'd cycle the Forgotten Cave anyway. Done. They just simply uh, need to not have a great start. Which is unfortunate to say. Because... Did they, they start with a seven-card hand? Oh, God. They didn't have... Uh, <laughs> Uh, all right. I'm going to shoot you. Do Lava Runner. Down to 12 on turn two. How's that? Apparently they like it. <laughs> they like it a lot. Um, Smash the Smithereens would be amazing here. Off the top. Or another bolt. Wait a minute. Oh my god, we get turn three kill. Uh, get rid of that one. Hooray! <laughs> uh, begin sideboarding. Uh, I wonder if there was a... I wonder if there was a better uh, way to do that. No, I mean like a better way to sideboard. Um, I think we did just fine. Uh, there are a lot more artifacts around. Uh, do we want to... I mean, we did win with these Gintu Lava Runners, but do we... They basically go unblocked super early. I'm beginning to wonder if it's worth bringing them in over these Smash the Smithereens. But the Smash the Smithereens seems so disruptive and so good. I mean, we just had a great opening hand. Like, probably the best that we could. <laughs> uh, funny enough. You know what? I'll, I'll remove the Curse of the Pierce Hearts because... Um, because of... Uh, them just not being fast enough. I think these Curse of the Pierce Hearts are actually really, really slow. Thinking about it. They might actually be too slow. Uh, over the course of the game, they, they do have ways to recover multiple times. With multiple Weather of the Storms, if they need. Plus Mystical Teachings and whatnot. I'll, I'll add back in one Smash of Smithereens. And I'll add... One more Smash Smithereens. Just because they have so many artifacts and they're looking super hard for them. Um, we'll submit. I think I should really look more so ter towards the early game and less towards the late. Okay, so how many bolts do we have? We have a one lander, a bunch of bolts... No permanents, but we do have a Smash of Smithereens. Um, they begin with a seven-card hand? Oh, God. 
Um, I'm going to mulligan. Better? Better ish. Keep. Um, get rid of the smash. Done. They choose to go first. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's Smash. Ooh, uh, Smash. Um, I'm going to play Land. I'm going to play Gintu Lava Runner, I think. And then just hope to untap with... Um, I mean, that means this thing gets in earlier for damage. Hope to untap with an untapped source. If not... Uh, it depends if they... Yeah, I wish that I was going first so that way I could more properly determine um no, I wouldn't I wouldn't uh determine much of anything. We'll play just a simple humble Gintu Lava Runner. The Prism. No, remote aisle. Sure. Land. Okay, that's good. Um, we'll lava spike you. Oh, I can't quite. Um, I will suspend. Uh, we almost. We almost had it. We, we partially have it. God, uh, that would have been such a great start. Bonner's Ornament. Oh, that's great. We'll shoot you. We'll get in for an attack. They're cool about it. We'll smash the smithereens that. Hydroblast. All right, that's unfortunate. Uh, I think we might want to save this mountain. Um, no, actually, we. let me just check my sideboard real quick. Oh yeah, I removed all the Searing Blazes. I'll play Mountain, and I'll pass the turn. I'll go to try to cycle later. What is this? Pulse getting back remote. I'll, okay, fine. It's super annoying that that failed like that. Cycle Forgotten Cave. Okay, that's good that we cycled it at least. Chain Lightning. Okay, now I'm relatively certain that they don't have it. Good. Let's get in for an attack. Uh... I might just want to go ahead and chain lightning here while they don't have double red mana available. Now I'm hoping for a top deck and for Gintu Lava Runner to do its work. Room Alt Isle cycled. Okay. And they only have two mana. Colorless. Okay, there's Prophetic Prism. Okay, now I would love Smash the Smithereens off the top. Um, we have the last one in the deck. Okay, sure. Bolt. Okay. We know that they don't have another Hydro Blast. I 
And they would have shot this thing. And we don't want to plan to weather the storm, so we just keep feeding these out like this. Okay, Tron assembled. That's a little scary. Remote aisle. They're playing double remote aisle. Okay. That seems that seems actually reasonable. In Tron. Alright. Evoking Mall Drifter or Ghostly Flicker. That's not a great ghostly flicker. I think that's a move of desperation. I really hope. Come on. Resort to nothing. Oh boy. Uh, is that Oracle? Seagate Oracle? Oh, that's a... Trading in more ghostly flickers to draw? Okay, that's not good. I mean, it's it's yeah, an act of desperation. It's good, but it's also not good that they're finding cards. And they have Dinrova Horror. Okay, and that's why we hold lands. Double Gintu Lava Runner? What? It's my birthday. <laughs> Down to two. You're in bolt range. We just need literally any bolt. Uh, we removed one Scare the Critics, right? No? Okay. Okay. <laughs> We need, okay, we can still cast Scare the Critics. This is fine. Mole Drifter, sure. Draw the cards you want. One blue source available. Oh gosh, come on. Just let burn take down Tron. Let us do this. Let us balance the format. <laughs> Okay, any anything off the top, please. Okay. I'm gonna shoot you now. I'm gonna go for it. Prohibit, do oh come on, don't do this. Blue Elemental Blast. Okay. No tax. They can hold up Maul Drifter till the ends of time. All right, now Tron doing Tron things. One bolt off the top. All right, don't tell me this is second in Rova Horror. Okay, it's a Mull Drifter getting uh, probably flickered. Actually, they're just looking for cards. Yeah, they are still in uh, Desperation Mode. In Bolt Range. Now that looks like Demonic Wall. Weather the storm. Come on. Oh my god, you're kidding. Yeah, I totally understand why people say uh, ban Tron. But... Jeez, oh Pete. That is utterly ridiculous. Um, I don't believe that Tron would be such a big deal if Watts paid attention to the format and simply diversified it. I'm going to go ahead and concede. Um, I don't really want to play this out. I'm going to go back to details. All right.
All right, all right. I I think that wraps this up for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, I really enjoyed playing for you guys. Uh, we'll just call this a day now and probably pick this up another time. That was just some feel-bads right there with Tron. Yikes. All right. Bye, everybody. See yous.